one, as I said, I was thinking of hugging, so. Sorry, man. So. Rolling. Okay, Phil with Practical Half Keto again. The last couple of videos we've been talking about cross-wrist techniques, okay? And I've been trying to get you to open your mind and stop looking at them like, well, somebody's gonna go up and grab your arm you know, and all that stuff. And I get that, but you gotta understand something. We have to start someplace so you can understand and learn mechanics. So. We start from a position here where he's got this grab. I got a cross wrist. I can step in. I do a strike. I've got an arm lock there. I've got uh, a way I can bring this up, take this in this way. I can keep it that low and come in at it this way. I can kick it across and come at it this way. He's not going to grab you by the Okay, great. You step in. Now let's look at this same concept from this position here. Granted, I have to come in from a blind, blind side, but if I come in here and I take snap this here, this way, is this not a cross wrist? Yes, I initiated the attack, but the minute I did this, essentially what I'm dealing with is it's still a cross wrist. So I've got concepts where I can come under here. Depending on the height of the person, if he's my size or shorter, I can come in here and I'm going to slam him. I can't do it now, obviously, but I'm going to slam him here while I pull this through all at the same time. Boom! You don't think he's got something to think about there? And at this point, I'm just going to come back to here and I'm going to cause damage. We're not taking a toy away from a three-year-old. They're bad, bad, can't have, bad toy, no. They need injury, they need bad things to happen to them. I want him to feel that in this joint for years to come, to remember what he's done. Um, I came in uh, over the underneath, bam, right, and switch it this way, okay? One hand, two hand, doesn't really, does not matter, irrelevant. Do I want to go under this arm? Bit of a height difference, isn't there? That's why we got different techniques. Here, I'm going to come in through here, I'm going to latch onto this, I'm going to, again, I'm going to separate these two. I want to cause damage here. Boom! I'm going to slam Hard. I'll just take this over the top and continue. I will break this if at all possible. I want to hear a crunch and I want to hear a loud screeching scream afterwards. I want to cause damage to this limb. Now you got to be careful doing it in class. But this is merely a cross wrist when you start to think about it. All these locks you're learning from people grabbing you, it's a base place. It's where you're starting from. Okay? Then we start putting things like this in your hand and start opening your mind. Don't be afraid to explore things with your partner. You already understand the locks, the concepts. That's what we're dealing with. Now, well, you haven't shown me a gun disarm technique. Now, I don't have to. We need to understand about the gun. You know, <laughs> bullets come out this end. It's a good, a good understanding to have. Starting to expand your knowledge and understanding of the difference between a semi-automatic and a revolver can be rather important as well. But these techniques you have, you already understand what to do. Now we're just putting a different tool into them, right? Bam! Put an airsoft in your hand and put a helmet on your partner and say, okay, I want you to shoot him with an airsoft the minute you feel me touching you. And he's got a helmet on and go ahead and whack the crap out of your partner one time while you're doing this. And, see, and then ask him, did you shoot him? Did you get shot? And he'll be like, no. But here's the one thing you do have to remember. Right now when you're in class, you're back to this, it's a static display. Look around, they don't generally, they're not generally like this. It's blah, 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 blah. This gun is moving, I'm looking. I might even poke it, blah, 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 blah. So this is an active, it's a dynamic. Start with it from a static. You get comfortable, put mouthpieces in careful. If you think somebody's gonna get hurt, you start making this dynamic and people start getting a little froggy, okay? So. Again, open your mind to the techniques that you're learning in class, man. Train hard, train smart.